Hello guys, it's me Simu Urahara and in this video we will talk about how the idea of showing the first Gucci 13 captions without hiding their identities came in the anime as well as what their fate might be now. Frankly, what made me talk about this topic again is Kubo's recent interview with the anime director about the squad. As anyone who have read the manga knows that the original Gucci 13 appeared in chapter 511 for the first time, but the characters features did not appear. At the time we only knew Unohana and Yamamoto and the rest remained unidentified. And this situation continued in that way until the end of the manga. But in the anime there was an expectancy from Bleach fans about how the city would adapt that chapter and whether Kubo would show the true identities of this squad or not. However, the anime staff had the same desire as the fans, so they asked Kubo to give them some designs for the characters of that squad, and they asked Kubo for two designs. And I think maybe the studio wanted the designs of Unohana and Yamaji, because they were the only ones that stayed in the Quincy arc. However, Kubo not only designed two characters, but he gave the staff all the 13 character designs. Frankly. I don't know whether Kubo had from the beginning a comprehensive vision of all the characters of the first generation of Gucci 13 or he only had partial vision and then thought about the rest later. Therefore, the director Teguchi decided to re-review the storyboard for the seventh episode, which is known to adapt the appearance scene of the Gucci 13 from chapter 511, so that the appearance scenes of Gucci 13 was remade with new designs. Of course, Kubo was not satisfied with showing the, the features of the characters only, but in a special poster in the Shonen Jump, he also showed the names of the characters, as well as the squads that they headed. And so all of these characters are considered new to us, except for Unohana and Yamamoto, and I have already made a video about the characters of Sakahuni and what his relationship might be with Ukitake, while we know that Chika is from Shohin family. But now the real mystery remains, what was the fate of these characters? Where are they now? It was actually shown to us that the lives of Shinigami can reach thousands of years. Yamamoto who headed that squad remained alive until he was killed by Yuhabach and the same thing happened to Unohana who was alive until she was killed by Zalaki. Therefore, these characters, some of them may be alive and some are dead. And I think whoever survives may be imprisoned in the Mukin. And I have already talked about this theory in this video. And who are dead may be in hell. The last one shot gave us a new concept about the fate of the captions after their death. Because once the Konsoresai ritual takes place, they are sent to hell. Thus, it can be said that besides Yamamoto and Unahana who are in hell, it is possible that some of these captions may be in hell too. And if this really happened, then this will give us a new hope to see these characters again in a new arc, with the possibility of seeing a glimpse of their past as well. So guys, what do you think? Give me your opinions in the comments, and see you guys in my next video.